All right, so we're here with Mitch, and you've got you're you're kind of you're kind of special with us. Um, before we get into this, thank you to Matter Hackers and Ultimaker for sponsoring this trip. But yeah, let's turn you around. That is awesome. So what what would you describe this as? Uh, th this is a backpack 3D printer, and uh, it's actually a backpack Delta 3D printer. It's a Simi CNC Aris, um, and uh, I. Uh, You've got the fanny pack and everything, so you're powering this thing from a battery, it's uh, Wi-Fi connected, what, what did you do to it? Um, so, the first thing I, I, I thought of is that I hate sitting at a table at conventions and like answering questions, so I'm like, why don't I just have a mobile exhibit where I can just be the conversation piece and walk around? That way I can actually see things and not like uh, Maker Faire, Bay Area Maker Faire is the one place I wanted to take this to. And that's like a place you can't see everything in one day. So if you're at the exhibit, you can't see everything every day. Will, will they allow you to take that in on, on Bay Area Maker Faire? Uh, I'm going to find out next month. So <laughs> this whole thing is done with uh, Fusion 360. I designed the frame from scratch. This is a uh, CNC routed plywood. And um, these are laser cut EVA foam pieces for the, the oh, straps. Right, though, those are custom too. I thought it was just regular back to, yeah. back to backpack straps. Those look professional. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is laser cut. I used uh, nylon straps that I barge glued on. Uh, this is a CNC cut frame out of plywood that I painted. And then I used a protopasta hi fi blue to print all the connector pieces, including the spool holder. The spool holder, the spool holder is actually a. Uh, a screw together piece that uses a lazy Susan bearing as a spindle. What's the pump on the side here? So the pump is a bird air pump. Uh, uh, the Maker Hive makes it, um, and it's basically an air pump with a tube that goes up to a, a tiny little nozzle and that provides uh, part cooling uh, for the fan because the effector is so tiny that there's no room to have a part cooling fan. Um, so I had to kind of make do with this, and it actually works really well. Yeah. And that's probably the, the sound you hear, right? Yeah, and it actually, it's kind of like a back vibrator, you know, it's a, a back massage. So you've got Octoprint in there, you have a camera in there? Yes, yeah, so... Uh, you can how, how are you making that work without a Wi-Fi? Um, I have um, the, the hotspot on my phone, and uh, the Octoprint server is just uh, connecting to my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. And it's using it as a like a, it's kind of like an ad hoc, but I never set it up as an ad hoc Wi-Fi, so okay. um, it's just like basically like as a router. So any problems with this thing moving around while you're printing? It's a fairly lightweight and uh, petite printer, I guess. Uh, and any problems with just having the straps on there and carrying it around? Um, I have, I think I've bumped a few times, and depending on which file I'm running, I pre-slice the files, so I don't really know how they're going to turn out. And um, I've had a few uh, spaghettis, and that's because I think the uh, either the whip gets caught and the it pulls one of the arm the towers, and then it goes haywire, and that's the problems with deltas anyway. But you know, uh, I, I haven't had really too many problems. I've been walking around, moving kind of dancing and it doesn't really affect the print quality. So. And you're just printing regular PLA. Does it have a heated bed? No. It, no. it doesn't have a heated bed, but I'm using Gecko Tech's uh, uh, Surface right now. So, And that's working pretty well. How long does your, your batteries last? What, what are you using? Uh, are C-Card batteries? Yeah, so there's a... Uh, can't see it, but... There's basically two 4S LiPo batteries. Hard are, are, are you getting are you getting uh, through airport security with that? Um, they did stop me. I had four LiPo batteries in my bag, and they they did test them, you know, to make sure I was safe, and I got through perfectly fine. The rest of the stuff was shipped in the hard case, so I didn't have to worry about that. But there's uh, two 4S batteries, 5,000 milliamp hours each, running in parallel so I can hot swap the batteries as I go. So you can and charge I, one? Yeah, I have a charging station over in the other, other booth, and um, that's, it's actually, I haven't run out the whole convention. You, you have no idea how long the batteries actually last? No, not really, but I, I estimate, because it's about five amps draw, I, I'm assuming I'm probably gonna get about two to three hours. Nominal, yeah, so. Yeah, so I have a, I have a DC to DC converter. It's actually, a, it's providing, because the, the forest batteries are about 16 volts. Yeah. 15 to 16, 16 volts, but the three volt regulator on the Rambo boards uh, will probably fry if I did that directly. So I, I bought a, uh, a regulator. So it's actually a it's a DC regulator that I have tuned, and then I have a five volt regulator 
that as my USB output from my Pi. Yeah, and so, getting the voltage monitor yeah, as well. Exactly, yeah. And I'm using all the XT60 connectors so that it doesn't break. Uh, and it just gets a little warm, but it's actually it hasn't been problems. And I'm also using the fanny pack to hold on my glue stick and my uh, my other business cards and my maker coins, and it's actually been con convenient. So you're a mobile printing machine. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't been too uncomfortable. I've been walking around this convention three or four hours, and like ah. I haven't had any problems wearing it. How much does that weigh on your back? I haven't tested it, but I'm I'm assuming I'm probably like 15 pounds or about you know six or seven kilograms. So yeah, it's not any heavier than my laptop backpack. So <laughs> you must have one hell of a laptop. <laughs> uh, it's it's a Alienware, so it's a gaming laptop. But yeah, uh, I can't carry that around to slice parts with me. So or run Fusion. So I originally had a plan to use a, a little Windows tablet as my controller and my slicer. But the Raspberry Pi Zero seemed like a better idea <laughs> because of the camera, so um, I didn't want to have to carry too much around. All right, what what an awesome project! Um, thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, nice um, to meet you, Tom. And once more, thank you to Matter Hackers and Ultimate for, for making this trip for making this trip possible. Stay tuned for more content from Murph 2018.